Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Scorpio. So Scorpio, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you see are from this deck. So Scorpio, it feels like you are being pressured uh, to make a decision or to choose whether you want to go this way or that way, and it feels like... Um, it's almost like time is ticking and you need to hurry up, right? Because we're beginning with, you know, the fastest card um, in the minor arcana, at least with the eight of wands. So, and, you know, this felt to me like, um, you know, something, you know, just speeding up. You know that uh, there is a process that perhaps you have, uh, it's like you have seen it. Right. It's like you have um, because to me, sometimes the eights, they do represent kind of like this building of the path. Right. It's like you have been paving this road. But at this moment in time, it feels like most of it has now been uh, laid out in front of you. So now you can hurry up. Right. It's like now you can really um, it's almost like you need to run. Right. I'm seeing you running down a hallway or something like that. It's like you need to just pick up the pace. It doesn't mean that you're going to um, uh, miss things that are important to you, right? Or um, it's like uh, not see the value of this movement. Because with the King of Pentacles, I'm seeing you, it's like you're valuing each step, even though it's like now your steps are just picking up, right? So... And it's interesting because um, the Eight of Wands is also a card of, you know, incoming messages. So I want to say that perhaps you have seen this ahead of time. It's like you have seen the road, you have seen the path. You have been uh, almost like building up some sort of um, resourcefulness or stability or uh, almost like this internal uh, reliability, right? Self-reliability. It's like you know that you can... Um, rely on your decisions especially because later on we have the devil right and it's interesting because the devil here is showing me this choice right it's like you're here at this crossroads and it's like you either can go this way or the other way um but you have gathered enough resources that i want to say that there isn't a right or wrong answer right it's like it feels like both are very equal right? It's like they are very uh, symmetrical. So it's almost like either way, you choosing this or that way, you're going to get to the other side. And I want to say that the other side, and it's interesting, right? It's like, we're only, you know, um, three minutes in and the four, these four cards are already here very rapidly speaking, right? Because it all started here with this ignition point, right? Because you you know, also something that I didn't mention, but it's uh, worth mentioning, uh, it's worth mentioning that this feels kind of like this obstacle course that it's like you might need all of the resources that you have gathered, right? So in some way, it's like you know that you needed to be in this state of um, reliability and um, like just confidence, right? Confidence that you will have everything that you need for this ride, for this uh, run, for this um, race, perhaps. But it feels like where you want to get is the other side of the world, right? And I'm just chuckling because, you know, I have a trip coming very, very soon. Um, so anyways, so it's almost like you want to get to the other side of the world, but you cannot go, you know, straight ahead. It's like you have to go around it, right? Just the way that the devil is showing. It's like, so you could go e either way that you're going to get there. But you know that, um, I want to say there are limited resources, even though you're showing up as the king, it's like, you know, your own limitations, right? It's like, you know, that you have enough to spare, right? For as long as it takes to get to, to get you to the other side, Scorpio. But it feels like you, you're being pushed right, by this Eight of Wands to make a decision. It feels like you have, it's almost like you have been um, holding your position to build up this confidence, to build up the necessary resources here at the crossroads. And you, it's almost like you have been, um, because something else uh, that the Eight of Wands is saying, right, being the wand suit, being the energetic realm, even though you're here, right, physically showing up as this King of uh, Pentacles, 
it's almost like until you got to this crossroads, things have been very palpable, very tangible. But, you know, these two paths, they're still very, um, it's like out of your view, not completely. It's like you can sense that both of them would be laid out in front of you, right? As, as, lo as long as you choose one of them, right? So it feels like you are in this moment of choosing which way do you want to go do you want to go left or right do you want to go up or down do you want to you know either way both of them both of the options that are being given to you it's like you need to go around the globe right it's like you need to um it's almost like you need to conform to the geometry of physical right it's like the the physics of this planet is like require that you go around it so it feels like um not exactly a bummer, Scorpio, but it feels like you, it's like in choosing, you're not going to lose anything, right? Especially because you know that you have the resources. It's just a matter of making a decision quickly, right? Because of the pressure of the Eight of Wands. So, and maybe this comes, as I said, as like this incoming message, right? It's like somebody says something to you and here you are, you know, just um, acknowledging that you have the conditions, that you have the health, that you have uh, the preparation, that you have the resourcefulness to make this decision that will change how you see the world, right? And it's almost like, it's interesting because in going around it, right, not through it, it's like you're going to see parts of the world that you wouldn't if you went straight ahead, if that makes sense. This could all be like just a metaphor, right, of you know, if you have some sort of um, issue that is reaching this completion, right, being the world, the last card of the major arcana, if there is some sort of issue that you know that is coming to an end, and the end, let's say, it's like reaching this, um, this end point or this destination, right, which could be, you know, reaching the other side of the globe or um, almost like reaching the finish line, if that's the case for you, it's almost like, if you for this um next leg right of the journey or like this last phase it's almost like in order for you to get there it what feels like a hiccup or what feels like um like a bump on the road or whatever it is right this choice of you know maybe you're being presented with an option right it's like you could choose this way or that way both of them are going to get you there but it's like in choosing it's like you're going to see a side of the world or you're going to see this obstacle, right? Whatever this issue is in a different way, with a different perspective, with a different lens, right? And so reaching your goal or reaching your destination or coming full circle with this um, project, with this issue, it's not exactly the problem, right? It's more like the choice that you're that you're being pushed to make going around it because it's almost like it feels like there are multiple ways of going around this thing but you're being presented with two that feel it's like both of them feel very similar to one another right so it's almost like maybe it's harder to pick one or the other because they are kind of like the same right it's just that they're you know if you choose to go this way because i don't know if you can see this but it's almost like you know this globe is you know, I'm seeing it here, right? And both of these are almost like, you know, um, around the planet, right? Almost like a ring or, um, you know what I mean? It's like this road around the planet, right? It's like, so this uh, horn or these um, horns are it's almost like embracing the planet, right? So these are the two paths that are going to take you to your destiny, I want to say. So it has nothing to do really with the the devil uh, traditional meaning, right? So there's nothing to be scared of. I don't feel like you are um, intimidated by this. It's just the pressure, right? Because it feels like um, maybe you're in a line, right? And you need to pick a choice. It's like you, you need to pick one of the options that you're being given, right? So it's almost like I'm, I'm seeing this as like, you know, a hurry, hurry, hurry. It's like you, you need to choose, right? So you don't have much time, that's the thing. And I want to say that maybe you wish that you did because you wish that there was, you know, a more straightforward way to get to where you want to go, right? Because the bridge is here, right, with the Six of Pentacles. So this is the straightforward, uh, you know, going through 
the planet to get to the other side, right? So maybe literally it's like if you could drill a hole inside the planet and, you know, just travel through a tunnel and get to the other side. It's like maybe this is what you wish you could do. But it's almost like, again, going back to the resources that you have, even though you are showing up as the king, you know, it's almost like you're feeling like you have more than you actually have. It's not that, you know, this is not diminishing or making you uh, arrogant or anything like that. It's just that you know that with what you have, it's like you could do magic, which is actually what I'm seeing here, right? So it's almost like you know that maybe uh, it's not just the resources per se or, you know, the, the money or the condition or um, it's almost like the intelligence or um, kind of like this mindset right? That um, there is a balanced way to do this. There is um, like a very harmonious, uh, straightforward, solid, reliable path to do this, right? To get to your end goal, get to your destination, get to where you want to go, right? And I want to say that you, it's like with the two of wands, it is connected to the Eight of Wands, right? It's not exactly in the speed that perhaps you're being pushed to act upon, but still it's like it's, it is a movement, right? It, it is like your instinct saying, it's like, okay, take the steps in that direction or in this direction, right? So I want to say that you are, you are moving, right? And it's funny because if you see the thumbnail, it's like this. Right. There is this lineup between the two, the two paths and then the eight of wands. So I want to say that even though things are starting here, right, it's like, you know, that you have a deadline, you know, that, you know, your turn is here. It's like, you know, that you have um, been in this uh, reliable, stable position of the king of pentacles, you know, just um, gathering your things, right, gathering perhaps everything that you need for uh, this to be prepared, right, uh, in order for you to really go for this decision it's like once it starts it's like there's no nothing holding it back it's like you you have to move right so you are taking the steps and i want to say that it really doesn't matter which one you choose right because things are going to really speed up right so you already know that things are being um uh sped or things are already being amped up in terms of movement right because because it's like here you know the the left corner for you if you watch uh if you see the thumbnail on the left uh corner right there are these pentacle cards you and the six of pentacles so it's almost like you you joining your resources and you know making sure that they are going to guarantee you um like this safe passage right because this is the bridge this is the bridge that is solid enough that you can trust that you're going to get there so that you can start taking the steps. And I want to say the moment that you start taking these steps, maybe because there's something that is aligned, right? It's like you are, your steps are in alignment with um, kind of like this motion, right? It's like there's something that you already feel like it's just becoming bigger and just louder and perhaps, you know, um, just faster, right? Whatever this is, maybe it's somebody literally pushing you to make a decision, right? But because you know that you have, it's like you have been in the pentacle realm, gathering the necessary things for your choice to be made in sovereignty, right? Also with the king, right? Being the sovereign one. So it's not a matter of having more or less, right? It's having enough for this decision to be done based on your sovereignty, based on your alignment with self, right? It's like you rely upon your own intelligence, your own ability to make good decisions. It's like, so you trust in yourself. So that is what is required most of all, so that it can be, you know, these very harmonious and um, tranquil, solid, um, just, you know, secure steps. So you're not crossing through a bridge that is, you know, falling apart. It's like, you know where you're standing, therefore, you know where you're going, you know, so the, so it's like the bridge will show itself to you, especially because, you know, ending here with the magician, it, it feels like the magician is going to magically, you know, it feels like a very trippy, you know, this, 
these trippy things they have been very um recurrent in the last few readings and it's interesting because it's all with the magician right and you know to be honest as a reader i get a little bit um pissed with this magician because it's almost like i'm so intrigued to see what this magician is holding back inside the hat just like it happened yesterday in the uh libra reading and yesterday i was like you know trying to get something out of the magician right it's like just like libra right they wanted to know the truth and the magician was not giving at least it was but not something that libra could take back home and i want to say for you it's interesting because it's like you you weren't anticipating the arrival of the magician because you trusted in yourself it's like this is the thing that you trust the most right it's like your work your resources the practical things uh the tangible preparation everything you know that you gathered right in in terms of um like the practical details the papers uh you know the documents the numbers uh, you know whatever it is right the presentation uh the money whatever it is right so that's what you relied upon right and i want to say like solely in you but also you know being the six of pentacles this is something that is coming out i was not seeing the six of pentacles in a traditional way as uh, an exchange right a contract but perhaps especially because the magician is coming here almost as if like you know once you take the step it's kind of like this um it's like crossing through not a finish line even though the world card is here it feels like the beginning of this journey right towards perhaps the finish line on the other side of the globe but it's not that's the reason why i'm saying it's like the devil it's not um like this devious character it's not even coming through as a character right it's not coming through as manipulation at all it's just presenting two paths symmetrical paths so that you get to see you know the earth from a different perspective if that makes sense so here it feels like there is some sort of contract right with the magician but the magician only appears as soon as you take the first steps and i want to say because it's the two of wands which is in alignment with the pressure that you're feeling since the beginning right to hurry up in this decision the two of wands it's opening up your imagination right so i want to say that it's the same thing that i was seeing here it's like you cannot cross through the earth right and you know just draw this straight line right through the center of the earth to get to the other side you know in theory maybe through your imagination that is possible but through the physical it's like you know it's just not possible um but maybe through your imagination and maybe that's where you know this magician is just appearing out of nowhere and giving you a possibility that was not in the cards right it's like you had only two options either go this way or the other way but as soon as the magician appears because you it's like you you boldly you know uh take this courageous and brave step forward even though you maybe you didn't even choose one or the other you're just taking that first step right it's like that initial movement and it's almost like here if there was like this motion right around and then it comes together you know where you need to get it's something similar but different right it's like it's broadening your perspective it's just like opening so wide your imagination it's almost like you know with our sight right we can see ahead and you know a little bit on the sides right this um periphery at the uh sides but there is a limit right but with your imagination as soon as you take that step it's like you open up a portal it's almost like that you can see way beyond even it's like way beyond even these two paths it's almost like seeing it's like seeing more i don't know how to express that it's like it's almost like the road is opening up right instead of um coming to like this point of culmination it's like before you get there it's like it's just going to be bigger and bigger and bigger and the interesting thing is that the seven of cups is at the bottom of the deck which is just expressing like this whole new menu that came up in the libra extended yesterday right it's like libra got a new menu right so they were contemplating these new options before they chose anything right before they committed to anything 
So it feels like maybe, you know, this magician wants to be in agreement, right? Or be in a harmony um, contract with you, a harmonious contract with you, right? At least like, you know, you being, um, it's like you acknowledging that they are together in this with you, right? Just opening up your perception, opening up your vision. And I want to say in terms of, um, it's like experiences or like emotional, you know, you know, when you're so accustomed to feeling more or less the same things when you are in your day to day, it's like, this is a whole new world, right? A whole new world. It's like, you're going to see the other side of the world, but on your way there, you are already going to have like this very expansive perspective, right? Because it's almost like you get a new menu before even you get to the destination. It's like your, your, it's like your spectrum of emotions is just going to be widened, right? If that makes sense. So there is this magician here and, you know, he's not giving out much. He's just saying, I'm here. I have arrived. I'm here to expand your perception, right? It's like, we're going to start with a few glimpses here and there so that you get, it's like more, um, it's like, uh, uh, it's like, so that you become more secure with your own steps, right? Or maybe with, you know, this practice of your own imagination, but it's like, the more you take those steps, like the more this is going to grow, right? So yeah, you're being pushed basically Scorpio to make a decision. Just take that first step. It feels like you have the resources and you have, you know, this a very, um, it's like this very known um, end goal that you want to reach. And so, and maybe the magician also knows that it's just that it's, it's, it's a very mysterious figure, right? It's, it's almost like I cannot read beyond this, right? And maybe beyond this, it's like, it's already presenting as the one that is going to open up your perception, right? Before you get to the destination, because that's, you know, the way to go around the globe, if that makes sense. I know that this is a very trippy message and the recent ones, they have been so out there, almost like out of my reach, but hopefully there was something in here for you. I am going to pull more cards for you, Scorpio, as well as the um, astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find link down below. If not, see you next time. Bye.